What's up fellow earthlings? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Lee Heyer. Today's video is gonna be about what I spent $500 on to save me a whole bunch of money in my business. We'll get into that right after the shout out of the day. Here's the shout out of the day. Thank you so much to this person for commenting on my channel. And if you wanna get a shout out on my channel, go ahead and comment down below. This is great for new creators. And uh, yeah, also I wanna let you guys know that I am giving away a $5 bill this week, which I will be announcing on Friday, the winner of, but today, if you comment in this video, 1963, so only the people that watch this video and comment down below in this video get a chance to win this. Also, comment something else like, hey Austin, your videos suck, I only watched them to win prizes. <laughs> Make sure you hit the like button, you can win that $5. Shout out on the channel if you comment down below, so who knows? You're wondering what I spent $500 on. Well, I actually kind of lied to you guys. I believe it was only... $3.99, but I just wanted to round up because 500 sounds like a great number. This item right here, I spent $3.99 on Amazon.com, guys. This was the Amazon recommended vinyl cutter. This does nothing but cut vinyl. You buy the vinyl, you put the vinyl on, you cut the vinyl out. You get the vinyl cutter software installed to your computer. Then you take this little USB wire, Boom, USB wire, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in right here. And that's how easy it is. The software comes with it, either on a CD or they'll give you a .com to go to and install that software onto your computer. I'll go. I'll get into my computer in a little bit and show you if you're interested, stay towards the end. I'll get into my computer and I will show you basically how to go through the program really quickly and explain how it works to you. With this beautiful machine right here, I have vinyled every single one of my dumpsters, every single one of my trucks, and every single one of my trailers. The roll of vinyl that comes with this thing is huge. Uh, it's about this wide. Uh, if you can see on here, uh, this is a two foot wide piece. So it, this piece right here is literally two feet wide and you can buy these huge rolls for about $100. And in one roll, vinyl both sides of my dumpster about four of my dumpsters both sides so about eight sides is uh, and you guys see how much vinyl I did I do the faces on the front the names uh, the big number the big dot com I do the Facebook and Instagram uh, it says LIG dumpster on the side so I use a lot of vinyl on the dumpsters which each dumpster would have probably cost anywhere between $350 and $500, depending on who I got to hire to print the vinyl out and put the vinyl on. It may have even been more expensive than that. Sure, you have to do a little bit of labor, but honestly, if you're, if you're just getting your business started out, this is the way to go. Get your own vinyl printer. So you get a large roll for $100, you get the machine for $399, and you're on your way you're hustling people see that giant logo and they're like wow let me give them a call like oh i need a dumpster i'm so glad i sold it let it go let it go junk removal oh my gosh like i have so many things in my garage i have so many things in my house and if you're just starting out and you logo them up yourself you can definitely save a lot of money and if you're this big company and you're watching this and you already have this guy that does these full wraps and um and you're, you're probably paying between $1,800 and $3,000, $5,000, depending on the size of your truck. If you're still watching this video, please hit that like button. I appreciate it. It helps out the YouTube algorithm and it helps me out. It makes me super happy. I want to get 100 likes per video. And I guess I have to mention that every video for people to actually hit the like button. Uh. So there you have it, folks. You've got one way you can spend $500 and save you a whole bunch of money in your business. I don't recommend using magnets. They tend to either get stolen, uh, fly off the truck. They always get ruined easily. I, they ruin your paint job. I've had vinyl on my truck for over two years, taken it off and buffed it out and it was all good. Each his own. This is called the US Cutter MH871 MK2 and I was just reading it off the bottom there. That's why I did it so perfectly. And uh, can you hit that like button for me, guys? Boom! Smash, crash, bang, bam. I gotta talk into this thing, huh? How do I sound? 
How does my new How does my new bike sound? Uh, I just got done cutting out the vinyl for my truck, my Freightliner. I only cut the doors out, which is my logo. It's a giant Let It Go junk removal logo on each door. And uh, that's about all we're going to put on the truck because most of the time we're going to have a dumpster on it, which is going to have all the information they need anyway. But I didn't want her to be bare naked. We're also going to be naming the truck, so if you guys want to give me some comments down below on um, what we should name the truck, Boom, there it is guys. That's the prize. Don't forget to comment down below 1963 to win that prize because Darth Vader says to hit that like button and subscribe. Let's jump over to my computer real quick so I can show you guys just how easy this is to operate. So I do not have screen recording on this computer. So sorry for the glare on the screen and uh, let's go ahead and get into it real quick and I can show you how simple this is. So I put it right in the center here is the Vinyl Master is what it's called. And I believe this uh, program, yep, so this program comes with the US cutter. They'll actually send you a CD. Actually, I think the, these people sent me a .com for this one. So uh, you go in here, and I've already set my cutter up and everything, but this, what, this is what it'll look like if you haven't set your cutter up. Um, but mine's already done, so I'm gonna hit exit on that. And so let me just show you guys how simple this is. You can click right there and that is new document. You create a new document and it'll bring you up to this page here. And what I like to do is go down here and turn um, page on or off. I turn the page off so that that rectangle goes away. And so I go up here and I click this A right there like that. And that'll allow me to place, uh, you know, this little typer line, you know, that, that typer, that blinking typing line. I don't even know what to call it. But yeah, it's that little line that blinks when you want to type something. And so here we go. We just type in um, hi, or let's just let's, you know, let's do a shift. Hi is all right. So hi, my name is. Boom. We want to print that out. We want to put that on our dumpster. We want to know what size um, to put on our dumpster. So first, you want to go to your dumpster and you want to measure it out, get a good measurement, and then that way you know how big to make these letters. In here uh, is where you put your measurement or how tall you want your letters. Right now it says one inch. So um, you can see, I'll, I'll let you see what that looks like. This is the printer button right here, by the way. Boom, right there. <clears throat> printer button, you hit print, and then it says, hi, my name is down there. And you can see that it's going to be seven inches um, long, and it's going to be up here one and 1.25 inches tall. So anyway guys, that's literally how easy it is. Uh, then if you if you want it bigger than that, all you have to do is go back in to this setting right here and let's just change this to, uh, let's just put three. I'll hit enter, it'll change it to three inches. And you can zoom out on this program. So let's see if I can get it to zoom out. Uh, all right, so we zoomed out and uh, we'll click back on this. So you have to be clicked on the actual project when you click your print button up here, it's a little pin button. Uh, it's not a print button, it's the cut button is what it is. Um, and there you go, see how it's significantly bigger now. It's gonna be 20 inches long and it's gonna be two, uh, almost three inches tall. So, and you just adjust that and you'll get to used to adjusting. You'll get used to adjusting that and figuring out what size you need. Um, but it works the same with pictures or whatever. You put it in here. Uh, let's give an example of that real quick. So let me um, go ahead and delete this. And let's go ahead and see if I can bring something in. All you have to do is go up here to images and you go import image. And you want to use like the most uh, simple image you can. So I'm going to use this one right here. Open and I'm going to put it right there. And boom, that's my let it go junk removal image. Now it's not going to recognize this and it's not going to cut it out right away. If you'll see you, uh, so no cuttable artwork detected. So that's what it says. If you try to just put a picture in there and cut it, what you have to do is go up here and click vectorize and you click vectorize. See it's vectorizing is loading and you like the trace out that it did. So you, uh, you, you click trace. All right, there you go. So you click trace and uh, if you like the trace out that it did, you click accept and boom, 
now this should be able to be a cut out image there it is so now I can go in there and cut this image out and put it on anything I want so yeah I believe that's everything and I've got to say have a nice day